Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see what is the usage of the different function shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel. Now we all know that we have 12 function shortcut keys uh, in our keyboard ranging from F1 to F12. Now we are going to see each of their usage and what functions do they perform and a demo of these functions. So let us start. First of all, we have F1, which is used to display help to us. But there is a disadvantage for it that help is only visible if you are connected to the Internet. So right now I'm connected to the Internet. And if I just press the F1 key, then uh, it would display the help to me because this is an online feature which is given uh, to us by Microsoft Excel. And using this help, you can uh, have a look at the various features various functions and their syntax, their definition, everything you want to know about a function or about any key, then you can use it using the help option. So here you can see there is a search box where you can type your function or you can uh, use these um, topics which are you uh, searched widely. So what I'm going to search for is H lookup and I press the enter. Now it may take some time depending upon your internet speed. And here I have got the HLOOKUP function which I was looking for. So I'm going to uh, just maximize the window and you can see this all information about the HLOOKUP function is available to you. You have got its description, you have got its syntax, you have got some of the remarks and some of the examples as well. And then at the last, there is a small feedback form that was this information helpful to you. You can choose either yes or no. So this was the help feature using F1 shortcut key. Next, we have enable editing in a cell. Now, if you have some contents in a cell and you want to edit it. So how can you do that? You can select that cell, uh, activate that cell and double click on it. So the cursor is now inside the cell. And this will help you to enable the editing in a cell. But what if you do not want to use a mouse for that purpose? What if you only want to use your keyboard? Then how can you go with it? So there is this shortcut key F2. You got to select your active cell. And as soon as you press F2, then the cursor is present inside the cell. And now you can change anything that you want. Suppose I write, write some text. So it is written. I can remove that extra text. It's written it's removed as well so that's how you can edit the cell using the keyboard only f3 is used to paste the name range now what is a name range we all know that if there is a range of data then we can give it a name so that we can reference it very easily so that's a name range and if you want to paste a name range at some place then we can use the shortcut key of f3 now how can it work so here we have a name range uh, this as day and this is our name range as days and I want to find the count of days. So how can I do that? Uh, I just type my function count a the reason being we have the textual data. So I'm using count a then I want my range to be pasted over here. I can simply type it or I can use F3. This will give me a range or a list of all the named ranges available in my table or in my sheet. So I will select day click on OK and then close the parenthesis and press enter. So I have got seven as my answer, which is absolutely correct. So F3 is used to paste the name range wherever you want. Next, we have F4, which is used to repeat the actions. So uh, first of all, that is a very simple thing. Suppose I have an example that we have written programming knowledge over here. So I copy this text and I paste it over here. Now what happens? My previous action was to paste this data at a particular cell. If I want to repeat the same action, then what I can do is select an active cell and press F4. This will help me to repeat my action, which was of pasting the data. Now, instead of using the shortcut key control V, what I have simply done is press F4. So it would help me to repeat my action. Uh, next shortcut we have of F5, which is helping us to go to a particular cell. Suppose you want to go to a particular cell, then how can you go with it? All you got to do is press F5. I'm in this cell. If I press F5, then to which cells I can go? 
I can go to the specified name ranges. Suppose I want to go to days and I click on OK, then I can go to days. If I don't want to go to days and I want to go to a particular cell, then what can I do? I can simply type its reference. Suppose I want to go to I10 and I click on OK, then I10 becomes my next active cell. So that is uh, the feature of go to a cell. F6 helps you to toggle between panes. Now, before learning about that feature, first of all, see that what are these panes? There are three panes uh, right now on my screen. First is this menu bar. Second is this sheet. And third is this status bar at the bottom. Currently, I am on the Excel sheet. If I press F6, then my active pane changes to my status bar. Now, if I use any of the arrow keys like uh, here over here, if I'm using my arrow keys, you can see that I can toggle between these things. This is the normal view. Here is my arrow. If you follow, this is the normal view. This is the page layout view. And if I press enter, then my uh, view changes to this page layout view. Simply, uh, I can also toggle to page break view and I click on enter. So I will go to this and I can come back to normal because my active pane is the status bar. Again, if I press F6. Then my active pane becomes this menu bar. Now, if I press my arrow keys, then all these uh, menus would be toggled with. Again, if I press F6, then again, my sheet becomes my active pane. And if I press the arrow keys, then this uh, would be the scenario. So this is how you can toggle between the panes. F7 is used for spelling checks, which is a very basic feature. We all have used it somewhere or the other. So if you want to go, uh, so you can just press F7 color you can see there is a suggestion for us c-o-l-o-r i can just change it or i can ignore it here is some of the suggestions for programming knowledge as well uh, which asks me to split the word but i'm going to ignore it all and yes if your spelling check is complete you get the sweet message from microsoft excel f8 is used to extend the selection of the cells now how can you extend the selection of the cells you know that if you want to select this whole list of the cells you can just drag it like this but it's again a work of the mouse. So if you want to extend your cell selection, what you can do is press F8 and then your arrow keys help you to extend your selection. You can press the downward key to select the contents downward. Simply you can uh, select right, left. You can select it upwards like this all like this and if you want to come out of it what you can do is just simply press the escape key and now if you just use these arrow keys they are working simply as before so that was the usage of f8 and f9 is used to replace the formula with a result value how can you go with it suppose uh, here was a formula that i had written but now uh, if i go to my active cell then in the formula bar this formula is shown which i do not want so i want to show its value so for that i simply press f9 and once i do that you can see that no longer the formula is visible on the active cell if i click this as the active cell its value is visible so that is used to replace the formula with the result value in the formula bar f10 is used to activate the menu bar that is simply uh, using the F10 key, if I just press the F10 key, then you can see that yes, my menu bar is now activated like this. That is used to activate the menu bar simply like F6 used to toggle between the panes, it is used to activate the menu bar. F11 is used to construct a new chart in a new sheet. So this is my uh, table and I want to construct a chart of, out of it. So I simply press the F1 key and you can see that this chart is created the name of the months is present over here if i just zoom in a little bit these are these months and this is the sales value which is exactly the default chart type we have got if you want to change its design and its formatting all you can do simply we have covered it in detail in the previous video so that's all about the customization of the chart that you can perform then f12 is used to save an existing workbook if i just press the f12 key right now then it asks me that whether or uh, where i want to save this workbook and i can i'm not going to save it right now so i'm going to click on cancel but if you want to save it you can click on save option so that is all for today's video i hope you all have enjoyed thanks for watching goodbye